actually I have not even worn makeup in about a month and a half maybe a month it's been a long quarantine so how are you guys doing I hope everyone's doing well and today I thought I'd sit down and just dab in some makeup and try and just you know take care of my skin it's been a little rough um you know everyone's stuck at home it's not fun being stuck at home so let's go ahead and get into some happy so today's subject um i don't know if you can tell from the box by itself uh i actually got this a while back i did not film because my brother had all my camera gear with him so um we are going to be going into the Jeffree Star Bloodless Palette. He actually just released a new collection called, uh, what was it? It was very controversial because a lot of people were saying it's not good for their time. I think it was called Cremated, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a neutral gray tone kind of palette, um, which I thought was odd because Jeffree Star is known more for his out-of-the-box colors and... Um, let me show you an example. Like his packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So here we have the palette, the Bloodless palette. It's all velvet. Um, beautiful feel, very uh, hefty in weight. Very nice metal logo. It has like this little knob to open it up. It always comes with this little plastic film right here. And another film on the mirror actually. And come on, look at those colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, definitely beautiful formula. I've never had issues with Jeffree Star. Um, I actually eh, I can't speak today. I actually did get three lip glosses. I think two are the same. One I'm gonna be giving away. Um, I got Lord Star and Sorcery. So we have three glosses right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my face routine and then get into this palette because I have not touched makeup in a long time so we're gonna go ahead and get my base on and I'll start off my base I'm gonna be going ahead and using the glossy glossy skin balm I think it's called from touch and soul um, I like their products it smells very nice and it gives me a nice feeling so I'm gonna go ahead and take a dab of that and it's a nice cooling primer for me. So I'm gonna take about that much. And take some dollops of foundation and probably mix it with a little bit of face oil. I'm going in with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish uh, Sublime Perfection Foundation. And my shade is I have no idea. Light medium 12 is my shade. Again, that is for my skin tone. It does not necessarily mean that it's for yours. So we're going to go ahead and go in with the light medium 12 from Pat McGrath. And I'm just going to apply that onto my face using a brush. Um, sometimes I use sponge, but in this case, I'm going to use a brush. Ooh, it might be a little too light for me now. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brush, I'm going to finish up my face and do some concealer and maybe some contour and then I'll be back with a friend. So now that the face is all based down, um, I did a little light bit of contour using my Marc Jacobs Tantalizing Bronzer in the shade uh, Tantalize, or sorry, is it Coconut Bronzer? But um, I use my Marc Jacobs bronzer in the shade Tantalize. I love this one so much. It smells like coconuts. Um, after I put down my face, I like to go in, knocking everything over with brows next. Um, it's just my preference. Doesn't necessarily mean that that's the order that you have to go into. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick. Nothing fancy. They've been a little, a little overgrown because I haven't been able to groom them properly during everything that's going on so yeah uh, go ahead and shape up the brows I'm just combing them up and trying to uniform them into a 
more manageable kind of shape. Close that up. I'm going to start off using the pencil. Just sketch out the shape that I like and then go ahead. And so brows are on. I did conceal under the brows and use the remnants of the concealer just to base and prime my eye. Um, so that's pretty much all set. I don't usually do blush until about the end. So let's go ahead and jump into this virgin palette. And I mean virgin as in I've never touched it, never swatched it. Uh, I've only seen the reviews. Finally gonna take off this plastic bit. So let's go ahead and jump into this palette. Again, it has some beautiful color story. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and use Your Majesty or Monarchy. I'm probably gonna use Your Majesty just to base, um, just to set down that concealer and it's nice to use like a white or beige tone especially if you want pops of color um i do want to try really really badly i do want to try this nice periwinkle shade so let's see what we come up with with the colors i'm gonna go ahead and go into your majesty actually go ahead and grab a nice brush probably just wipe off a little bit of excess I'm going to go ahead and go into the shade Your Majesty, which is like a nice, um, not white, but like an, a charcoal-y white mixture. And there's a little bit of fallout, but nothing bad. Pigment is key here. And yeah, it's applying really nice, very soft matte. Picked up on my brush almost instantly. I'm gonna go ahead and set the other eye. Again, a little bit of fallout on the pan, but nothing bad. Very nice color, very easy to spread out. Soft, subtle. I really like this as a base coat. So that is a nice color. Okay, so. I just did a light layer on top of my concealer. Probably can do a little bit more. Okay, so concealer set. I do want to use the periwinkle color called Scandal Water. Um, I don't really know if I want to go for a dark look or something a little bit more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and go into that shade Deviant and I'm just going to go ahead and use that on my feet. Buff that in real quick, long brush. Buff that in real quick on the upper crease. I'm going to try and go and use this as a uh, transition shade. Again, the shade name is Deviant. I'm going to go ahead and buff that into the top of my crease. I'm going to go ahead and go into Scandal Water. I'm going to go ahead and take another brush. I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with a flat brush. And go into the shade wet jewel. I think I'm going to place that in my inner. I'm just going to cut it and put wet jewel right where I cut the crease. Ooh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so I'm going to have to pack some on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not very opaque. It's very sheer. It has a nice shine to it. Um, Maybe a couple more layers to help. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Um, I'll probably bring you guys in closer to see it later. I don't think it's really picking up on camera as much as I would like it to. Go into the shade Pink Magic and just see how that looks if I line that in between the center of my lid and the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a line using Pink Magic. Not what the one literally right underneath Wet Jewel. 
It's also a nice shimmer shade, so I'm wondering how this one will- Ooh. Oh yes, that was a good decision. Ooh, that is a really pretty color. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually, just, actually, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. Ooh, that's, that is gorgeous. Can you see that? I'm just gonna put everywhere that I put wet jewel. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with magic. But that's actually really pretty, this purpley pink combination. I'm gonna go ahead and darken my corners. I'm gonna go in... Sorry, I've been having allergies, so you might hear me sniffling. Where is my brush? There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a smudger brush just because it's more compact and it makes it a little bit easier for me to manage the outer corner. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Blood Queen which is a nice royal purple looking shade and I'm just gonna do the outer corners, fix up that shape a little bit and maybe go a little bit into the crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here and just blend that shade in. So far, so good. I mean, is it perfect? No, I'm not a professional makeup artist by any means. Um, I'm literally just doing this for fun. I just wanted to feel pretty and I just wanted to play in my makeup for once and just do something anything really oh wow Ooh, yes and if you want sharp clean lines guys because this ain't it um if you want sharp clean lines all you have to do is get a piece of tape you can actually wipe it away with concealer too but i'm i'm just really lazy right now if you can't tell and i'm gonna go ahead and take excess of that color and just buff that underneath my waterline. Alrighty, so we have that color underneath my waterline, which I think is really, really nice. Um, I do want to go into another shade, possibly a little bit brighter. I don't know, these are like very weird dark shades that I like usually would not pick. Um, that's why I like Jeffree Star. I like to try new things. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a nice fluffy crease brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the colors using the shade Deviant. I'm just gonna go above and just fluff all that out so it doesn't look like harsh sharp lines. I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff that out using the shade Deviant. Okay, so that is the color in the crease, or a little bit fluffed out. Um, would it be cheating if I got a different palette? Yeah. Okay, so we went with Blood Queen. I want something a little bit brighter. I don't... <sighs> I don't really see his typical like highlight shades. He usually has like a white or gold highlight shade in his palette. Um, these are a lot of like different formulas, mattes, uh, looks like a couple satins, a little bit of glitter here. Uh, and then this random red shade. Should I go with red? Mm, I don't know. I'm kind of working towards the Vile Serpent shade here, to be honest. Let's go ahead and try that out. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a nice smudge liner brush, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, brushes you can use for anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Vile Serpent, and I'm just gonna work that underneath my waterline about halfway in and just see how I like it. I wanted to go with a lighter shade but 
I want to just try out as many shades as I can. I might go into Sworn Enemy. I'm not really sure about that one yet. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with Bile Sturtman and just work that underneath my waterline about halfway in. I just really want another like nice highlight shade but I'm not seeing it. I mean this looks pretty nice. Not everyday wear. Um I do want to highlight here. Let's go in with the shade Your Majesty just to get a nice white under my brows. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And take Your Majesty and do that on that side as well. And that's more of a matte shade than anything though. Alright, I'm going to do liners, lashes, and blush. Liners, lashes, and blush and I'll be right back. So here we have the finished look. Um, yeah, it's definitely not an everyday look. I just did this for myself. Um, I just did this to have fun and keep myself busy, which is essentially what's all about during this time. Uh, keep yourself busy, stay at home, be safe. Right now is the perfect time to be testing out new looks and um, testing out things that you normally wouldn't do. Just stay home, stay away from people. Um, so anywho. Uh, the palette blended beautifully. The purples were beautiful. Um, it was a little bit lackluster in the sense that I wish it had more of a highlight shade or more um, neutral like blending shades. Uh, I feel like it is beautiful in the sense like look at that purple. It's gorgeous. Uh, in the sense that it is gorgeous, I did put Lord Star on my lips as well. It's a nice pink with like a little specks of blue in there. Uh, very nice lip, liquid lip, uh, lip gloss shade. Very nice, very pigmented. Um, again, the palette, I wish it had like a highlight shade and a neutral shade. I feel like I will enjoy playing in that palette, but I feel like I'll be grabbing for other palettes just so I can get that highlight, that, uh, transition shade or some form of blush where like as the conspiracy palette here I have everything in one palette I get um I I get my transition shades I get my highlight shades I get the fun colors that I get to play with and um I feel like this is one of the good ones uh packaging by far I would say packaging has to go to bloodless palette it's just fun to hold. It just feels luxurious and heavy. I like uh, feeling that little doorknob. The color story, don't get me wrong, it's gorgeous, but as you can see, there's like um, not that many transition shades. You get two, and there's not that many highlight shades to work with. So if you're looking for a highlight, like, um, unless you're going for pink, but uh, I mean, it's a beautiful purple shade, so like, don't get me wrong. So I'm very impressed with the way that this works, uh, blends together, the way it feels. Um, it's very nice. You get the Jeffree Star logo, and it just feels wonderful to hold. So this is a very nice um, vanity kind of collection, whereas this is more of a to-go kind of thing. So that's it for this review. Um, I'm gonna just keep trying to play, keep myself busy, test out new looks, um, possibly do more open boxes. I do have a lot of shit that is just off in the corner that I did not even get to open. It's very late in the game. I do understand. I just got all my camera gear back. So it is very late in the game. As you can tell, I just reviewed the Bloodlust and the um, cremated palette had already come out or is coming out by the time this video is out, who knows. Um, I do have a Fat Fit Fun box that I am going to be opening. I have uh, my last BoxyCharm box um, and I don't know 
if I'm gonna be getting more stuff, probably not because I canceled all my subscriptions due to the current situation, as you know. So anywho, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Please, please, please stay safe out there. Whatever you are doing, keep yourself busy, but be mindful of others. And even if you are fine, that does not mean that whoever you are contacting is okay. Okay? Alright, so stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. She